Hey, this is Sebastian. Show me at dot com coming at you one more time. We got the gospel guy, Mr. Randy Jenkins here one more time. And today we over at his church and he's going to talk about his setup a little bit. Um, he just got this new keyboard, the S90 XS. He's going to tell us a little bit about that and show us a few things. All right, Randy. Okay. Uh S90 XS is basically, everybody knows S90, S90 ES. It's a stage piano. It uh, has all the Moti sounds without the sequencer, pretty much. Um, uh, we had an XF8. I miss it dearly, uh, but due to circumstances beyond our control, um, we had to make a move on it. And so we picked this keyboard up. I was a little reluctant at first um, because... Um, to me, the XS sounds a little bit different than the XF, mm -hmm. and uh, so I was a little nervous about it. But um, man, I tell you, getting it, aside from being able to put like the Power Grand in the XF um, and some other stuff that I was doing with it, um, this is not—I'm not mad at this at all. Uh, it's got aftertouch, which is a uh, you know extremely you know very 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 important for the type of keyboard playing that i play uh, i'm not really a piano player i'm more of a keyboard player that likes weighted keys um so, so tell me what's the difference when you say you're not a piano player but you're a keyboard player that likes and tell explain to us how does that after touch because a lot of people don't even know what that is and whether it's in a keyboard or not well after touch is basically when you push when you hit a note and you push down on it you know something happens um and so real quick if i just go to a sound here uh let me see uh this has a sound okay if i just hit the sound you know everybody knows velocity you hit it the harder you hit it the more the louder or the more bite whatever mm -hmm. you want to assign to it um if you push down you hear that okay oh so like when you do like those horn things right. You, right, you can be more expressive with that. Right, touch. okay. Right, and um, you know, sometimes I wanna. Sometimes I want the sound, and I want the, you know, the the LF, I want the modulation, but I don't want the wheel. You, you don't want to take your hand want, off. Right, I don't want to use the wheel. I just wanna, I wanna play it myself. So, you know, oh, okay. whatever I'm doing. Um, so, for me. That's like how how I play and my approach to keyboard playing. Mm -hmm. It's a must have. Like it's it's a real deal breaker. Like if a keyboard doesn't have it, I won't even look at it. <laughs> like the um I think the Kurzweil artist, it just came out. The board is beautiful. They just put it out. Sounds great. No aftertouch. <laughs> so you just, can't. I won't even mess with it. That's the first thing I look for when that's I find a keyboard thing. I like. I like. I go to the specs. I look for aftertouch. If I don't see it. Yeah, I remember Next. a few years ago we were talking about a keyboard, and you said, "Man, it don't have aftertouch." And I'm thinking to myself, "Well, what's the big deal? So what?" No, 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 bro. It's got. Now I understand. Yeah, it's got to have aftertouch. Got to. Um, there's little <laughs> nuances that I assign to the, you know, to the um, keyboard, you know, via the aftertouch, and I, I need it. I need mm -hmm. it. Um, so, you know, some guys, you know, they like to they play the piano. Some guys play the piano straight with no layering, no, you know, nothing. Yeah, you know, I call those guys real true piano players. They like the sound of the piano. You know, their touch is that of a piano player. I'm more like a keyboard player. But I like the weight. I like the fact that I can dig into the board, you know, and get, get some, you know, some action happening. Um, so, you know, that, that, that was the thing with this board. Um, great keyboard. Does not sound bad. Um... A lot of capabilities, you know, 128 no polyphony, which is a must-have. If you if you think you're gonna play chords like, you know, you know, you you need you need all of that going on. You need all of those notes happening. Um, and so uh, I know in later videos we'll get to like you know synth stuff. And, yeah, yeah. You know synthesis and all that kind of stuff. Um, good board, good board. Um, now I noticed. On the back of the board, I see a MIDI out and I see a USB out. So what's what's happening? Um, you can um, you can control your door. Mm -hmm. You know, there's some buttons here. You can control your door. Um, 
this uh you can you know it's run got transport MIDI, controls you know um function for um sounds you got there's an editor that comes with it so you can use it for that mm -hmm. um i still use midi because i go out of the board into my rack out of my rack into my computer oh yeah uh, since that's the older module it yeah, doesn't have usb not, so. no and 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 words to the wise if you try to use you can't use this both. keyboard right usb to your computer you'll bypass this you won't be able to use both oh okay so yeah it's yeah because i know it's in my xf yeah it's either one or the other or the so other. it's the same in this board yeah that would be nice if they that allowed you crazy. to do both. That would be crazy. It would save a lot of headache. Uh, my V-Synth can do that. Oh, it can do that MIDI and? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's the other keyboard yeah. we were talking about. Yes, sir. That's the secret Ooh. weapon. We, we, we got to talk about <laughs> that one one day. Yeah, that's the joint. That's, that, that that's boy, the... A lot of people sleep on that <laughs> board. And it came out. It was quiet. Yo. People were like, oh, another synth. Nah, but man. But that board. That board is real. <laughs> For real, that board is crazy, um, and so you know that that can do it. I, I when I'm working at home, um, I use um, MIDI going into my rack, and then uh, I use USB going into the computer. Wow! And it does both, so that's great. That's a great function I have. Um, so you know, uh, I have a bass sound that I program. You know, I used to have a you know motif module. Um, any any piano i use any you know whether it's a, a phantom or whatever there's always a bass sound um now what happened was um i'm a big reason cat was using uh reason was using reason pianos they had this piano on there called hornsby's honor <laughs> amazing piano um and it basically consisted of a piano uh, a Rhodes patch that had um some phasing going on so it was like a phaser Rhodes and um had another like DX bell kind of like sounding roads. Uh, got rid of that, and um, but I never forgot that sound. So whenever I sit down to a new piano, you know that's the first thing I do. So I make a piano. So we got here this piano here, right? Um, then you got the phaser roads, and then I like a nice pad underneath. Yeah, underneath. Always got a nice pad underneath because you know you can play. If I just play piano. You know, you know it's nice, mm -hmm. but to me it's a little empty. You know, um, so I like. So now I got this pad going on, that allowed me to play up here with my keyboard. You know, or uh, you know, look f look for other sounds. You know, I could be in here. You know, just playing. And then bring slowly bring stuff in, mm -hmm. you know, and it just starts creating this bed of sound. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and so I guess what we can do is we can get into you know how I made this sound. Um, Motif got a lot of dope sounds, a lot of lot of sounds. Uh, I'll stay with the the, the basic um, general sounds that everybody's accustomed to. I go to piano. All right, I just use the uh, full concert grand. That's on, I think it's on the, it might be on the ES. I think full grand is on the ES. A full concert grand. Um, if you got the power grand, you can do that. Uh, basically, what's going to happen is, um, real quick. This, this is the sound, all right? I personally don't like a lot of reverb going on. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit, right? Go down to effect. And I'll go to reverb, hit enter. And I'll just turn it off. All right. Mm -hmm. So now I got my I got my reverbs off. Now I'm gonna go to um, filter and envelope. All right. Now a lot of guys don't notice. This is very 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 important if you're gonna start making sounds and building your own kind of like vibe. Um, A D S R. Right. Mm -hmm. You ever see these little attack, knobs on the thing? Yeah. Att attack. Decay, release, release, and sustain. sustain. Attack, decay, sustain, release. Very, very, very important to just quickly dialing in the sound that you kind of want. Now, I don't understand this, but synthes synthesizers, when they have a piano sample, it's always lingering. 
But when you hit a piano, it cuts off. Like it, you, you, the note gets in and gets out. So what I like to do is just go down here to release. Go down to about negative four or five. So it makes the piano kind of tight bite. and choppy, yeah. Oh, it makes it speak different. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I can hear a difference, hear? yeah. All right, so instead of, you know, playing here. See, I think some people don't listen to the sound that deeply, but you, I, you just taught me something there. That's very important. You get a nice little, you know what I'm saying? Thing happening here. So um, after I do that, you know, I'll save it easy. You just hit store and then, you know, store again or yes, you know, enter, whatever it may be. Let's go to, um, let's go to a uh, pad sound because this is going to be very important. Um is a good pad I like. Well, it's actually a string sound, uh, a synth string. Um, but I do some tweaking to it to kind of make it sound more like a pad. That's Morn Strings. Beautiful. Morn Strings. Uh, Morn Strings. M O U R N. And that's in the that's in regular the motif. motif. That's in every motif. In motif every classic. E S X S X F. Every motif. It's so a mm -hmm. go to. Another one I use is a VP Soft. All right, you got just some tweaking you got to do to it, but this is more strings. All right, now what I do is, um, let's go to edit, right? You want to go again? Gonna take bypass the reverb, I'll take that off. All right, then we're gonna go to filter again. Now, um, we're gonna go up to cutoff and resonance. All right, now cutoff just means you basically where the filter closes and opens all right so you got filter and the resonance of the filter all right so if i turn the resonance up you hear it's yeah. getting that funny opens up yeah all right so i'm gonna turn that all the way down all right now i'm gonna turn my cutoff down till it starts getting dull mm -hmm. see that if i turn it all the way up i get a nice sharp yeah but i want to i want it nice and dull because i like want it to lay, lay underneath, underneath yeah. everything right so so yeah, it doesn't interfere. Right. You can see now I can get other stuff going on. Wow, that's smooth. <laughs> you know, whatever. Right, so then what we gotta do now is we gotta go to um filter and envelope again and we're gonna do that ADSR, right? So you gotta attack, decay, sustain, release. We take the release all the way down to about 13. All right. All right. Now, why it sounds funny now, but when you layer it layer it with the piano and everything else, if I'm doing a run, I don't want to hear the pad. That. Yeah. I just want it to when I play and you I hold the sustain pedal, you stuff. hear it. All right, so even still, I might adjust the attack a little bit. So you hear me? I'm, 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 you see it me? I'm controls hitting. it to stay out of the way when while you I'm, don't want it. Right. While I'm but playing, when you're laying on something, then it's there. It's there. All right. Um, and then, uh, then like I said, you got the phaser rules, which I don't really do much to that. Um, I just go to the edit, go to um, ADSR, change the release time, turn it down. You know, I'm, I'm good to go. Uh, where it's where it's quick when you right that you're doing that, the same thing the that you do the acoustic the piano yeah. right yeah so right. it's just that, bop bop and it's here's out. another here's another thing to know about the about the uh, pianos though all right on the motif because um, once you start layering and things start happening you're like hey what's going on I you know I don't want that I don't want that to happen I don't want this to happen so you got to go to control okay because if I play this you hear that chorus now mm. I don't want that. Um, just, you know. I'm not Elton John. I don't. Want to, <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want to hear that. I mean, sometimes I use it, but not never really in church. So, yeah. all right. So I'm gonna go to um, edit, right? And we're gonna go over to uh, controller. All right, the mod wheel, which is this wheel here. 
Mm-hmm. MIDI uh, CC01 is the modulation control. Mm-hmm. So if you ever see that on any keyboard, any computer program, yep. that's this mod wheel. That's right. All right. So you got um, its destination is doing a chorus sin. So we want to turn that off. And now nothing's happening. So when I'm using another sound, it's not going to modulate it. And I want this to modulate, but not oh. this. I, I'm, I'm good. Oh, okay. So it still works, but it's working on the right. other module. Okay, All right. cool. So that's what you want. All right, and you got to do that for every su- sound. If you don't want something to wiggle, if you don't want to hear the modulation, you know, because sometimes this may modulate at one rate and this may modulate at another rate. It'll and you be can't get them. Real funny, it'll yeah. sound crazy. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you want to kind of get in there and kind of just find out what you like, what you don't like. All right, and I know in, in another video we'll go uh, more in depth mm. about that. All right, so it's a good sound. Piano. All right. Um, that's like my main, you know, church kind of like cut through the mix, kind of like piano. Um, this is my talk music piano. It's a lot more delicate, you know, not as not as much bite. So it kind of lays behind the person, doesn't get in the way too right. much. Right. Still got that pad going on. You know, mm-hmm. still got that. Want to hear that? Um, it's a dope sound in here I use uh, called Scepter. Um I tell you, man, those pads, man. Whew. Uh, it's Eric Person. <laughs> Pearson, yeah. Right? So you hear me? I'm, you know, somebody's talking, you know, whatever. You're setting the vibe, you're setting the mood. These are the kind of sounds you want to, you know, you want to get into. Um, so this is my piano for, this is the S6 Grand. It's only on the uh, S90XS. Mm. This was another reason why I got this piano after we had the situation with the XF, um, because I, I I got so accustomed to that the S6 S6. grand that I didn't want to be without it. And so um, when I found out that this was in there, I just took the plunge. He was like, that um, was it. And so uh, that's another one. Uh, then I got a, a Rhodes one. All right. Love the uh, 80s, um, what's it called? Um, uh, R&B Rhodes. Beautiful sound of rose to me. Right? And um, you have to do some programming. Uh, matter of fact, I'll just do that real quick. Uh, let's go to the roads. And um, now, although you people, you can't see what he's doing, when we go back to the studio, we're going to do some of this on the motif where you'll be able to see the screen. So you can kind of learn. There's like programming 101. All right. So you got this is R&B soft. Just regular, straight up. Mm-hmm. This is what it is. Right? Now, when I turn the wheel up, it goes away. When oh. I go down, then you it's hear the tremolo the, or yeah, the auto course. pan. Yeah. I want it to do the other way around. So what we got to do is we got to go to edit. We got to go to LFO. All right? And we got to change. Uh, where is this thing at? Now you find navigating oh. around in here just as easy as the motif? No. No. It's not at all. Honestly. So this is more of a player's board. They didn't really make it for you to really try to dig in too much. No. No. You can didn't. dig, but it's it's work to dig. It's it's work to dig. It really is work to dig. Um now nah, I can't remember. I just did it the other day and now I can't remember how to do it. What I did. Um Shoot. There's a Sorry, way guys. Of reversing. Yeah, I, I I did it because you hear here. This is it. When I go up, there's my. Yeah, I'm getting but that. Man. I forgot. It, it escapes me. My bad, fellas and women, if you're out there. <laughs> <laughs> but again, the pad is there, always, mm-hmm. always, 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 always. Um, so you know, another little secret. Um, I go to edit. And we will introduce a new sound that I'm sure everybody's familiar with. Um, um, All right. And we'll hit enter. 
And, um... <laughs> what sound is that? So... Ha! Huh. It's a flute. That's you know, nice. Real nice. Real smooth. Real 70-ish. You know what I'm saying? Very, you know, that <laughs> old school, you know, Bill Evans, Symbiosis kind of like vibe. You know? You know? Yeah, this stuff that you're doing is really getting people into really customizing their sound. Yeah. So you don't sound like everyone else. You can have on the, the same, same board. You can have you can have the same board, and it'd be two different personalities. Mm -hmm. You know, and that. It, but again, I always say it. You got to do your homework. You got to spend time. Get into you the know, board. When I get a new board, I don't bring it to church right away. <laughs> you stay I, home and I, dig I, in I, it. I, at least you know my V synth stayed home for about a month or two before I even when I had the original V synth, mm -hmm. and then when I got the GT GT, I did the same thing. I just kept it home, really just dug into it, you know, read the manual, figured out what I needed to do, mm -hmm. you know. So when you so you have control the same way like people approach the organ, they know what draw bars, how that mm -hmm. shape sounds. So, but people think keyboard, oh, turn it on, switch to the piano and play. Right, but you don't take that approach. No, no, no. And I, and I always wondered. I said, why is this? Why, you know, like I said before, I used to work with the JV 1080, and I was, you know, the guy when I was in college, you know, the dude was like, I was asking for all these different modules. And I'm like, yo, we need to get this. We need to get that. Like 1080s. Oh, like let's get this. And he was like, man, listen, the 1080s a powerful module. If you get inside of it, I never really understood what he meant. I'm like, I, I know the 1080, I go on the side of the sounds and I, you know, <laughs> like I knew how to like turn the effects off, but I was like, I didn't know, like you could change the waveforms. There's so yeah. many different nuances to the Create. module that you can get so personal, you know, with the stuff. So, um, you know, just do your homework, man, for real. Like that's this another sound I use. Uh we, we did it at your at your studio. Mm -hmm. Um and what I like to do with this is l definitely like to layer with my XV. Um Now what sound is that? Huh? All right. So, um what I did here was um, this, the sound I'm playing, the sound, this sound right here. All right. Now you see when I move the wheel up, you get a little wobble, mm -hmm. a little analog kind of like wobble going on. Um, and huh. what's, what's, what's happening is um, I never play w just one sound. It's very, very rarely that you're mm -hmm. hearing just one sound. I'm always using, you know, on the motif, it's performance. You know, on uh, the rolling stuff, is performance. And then the uh, on the chorus stuff, I think it's uh, combo. 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 Right? Combination. Uh, so Combi. Uh, what I'm doing here is uh, you got a sound. And, I, and I'll, give, I'll give you the sounds. That's no, that's no problem at all. <laughs> uh, I'm using a sound called Modular Life. It's actually a pad sound that I did the ADSR to. I took the attack all the way up and the release down. So I get it. I get a nice little, it almost sounds like a synth. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, using glider, which is another sound in the, in the, you can, that's, that, it's not in the 1080, but it's, it starts in the 2080. Right, um, and it's actually a synth sound, although it sounds like a bass, uh, but it's not. Um, and then I use uh, warm strings to give me a nice little string kind of like vibe happening. And, uh, and then you get this. All right, so if I just turn down each sound, you know, there's the strings. I mean, that, there's um, there's the strings. With the ADSR changed, right? There's this is glider, and this is the uh, modular life. All right, and so together, 
All right. Um, I mean, again, we could be here all day long doing this stuff. Uh, here's another sound. <laughs> use. That comes late. Um, and that's that's I use that for like you know worship songs, ballads, you know whatever. Um, let me see what I got going on here. Um, uh, I'll usually start a, a service like that. You With know, that behind your piano. Um, let me see. Um, I love uh, you, Lord. Something like that. Uh, I live, I born. Uh, 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 you know, you know, whatever. That's what I do. You know, that's mm -hmm. that's that's what it is. Um, sometimes. Um, this is a good one. <laughs> Everybody likes this one. This is the uh, infamous um, from Judy McAllister. Jason White made Jason this sound White. famous. Um, it's basically it on the Roland uh, JV 1080, 2080, you know XV 3080, 5080, whatever you got. JV 1010, XV 2020, XV 5050. They're all it's all the same basic sound set. Um, it would be A 25. That is MK. MK80 Rhodes and uh, okay. you, you get that sound a nice you belly know, you know so belly Rhodes um, if you use that of course with the um, let's go to my main stage here okay where are you pulling up on main I'm stage I'm going to pull up I'm going to pull up uh, yeah MKS station yes sir ah mix them together <laughs> You know, so <laughs> in a whole hallway. Eh? You know, that's <laughs> that's the sound. You know, mm -hmm. that's the sound. And so, um, you know, that you know, again, you gotta you gotta do your homework. You gotta study. You know what I'm saying? You, you 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 know pick the sounds off. You know go to the different keyboards. You know I'm the type of dude I'll go through every single sound mm -hmm. in the keyboard to get what it is that I need, what I'm looking for. Um, so my personal base uh, back to that is um, if I don't start with a piano, I start with the MKS 20, right? EP, right? Um, sound I like to call peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Real thick. Yeah, sounding. you gave me that one in my 5080. <laughs> I love that. All right. And then I'll do, um, I will do, um, I have another sound I call string bed, which is basically, I'll, have, I'll start here, right? And then, um, so I get a nice little pad going on. Right, got my pad, and then I'll bring in the strings. Mm -hmm. So let's let's say we're singing, um, you know, I don't know, uh, let the glory of. You know, whatever. That's kind of like my basic vibe to start a church service. Mm -hmm. You know, you get a nice little, you know, um, and it just it just lends. I mean, that, those, these are the sounds that you hear on records. This is what you know the the pro cats are doing. Yeah, that's what they sound like. And a lot of dudes don't really know how where those sounds where the are sounds coming are from. coming from. And they may look at the boards, but when they see the boards, they don't know. All right, what sound is that? Right. Um I heard I heard a dude um I'll never forget, man. I mean I I grew up watching Joe Wilson. That's that's mm -hmm. he's yeah, like we all watch Joe, Joe is the <laughs> Joe Wilson is the dude. So, you know, you know, he was doing all of this back in like ninety two. You know what I'm saying? I, I grew up as a young kid watching him and um uh another dude used to be with, with Joe, Lauren Dawson. I went to go check him out one night, man. He was playing 
and uh, his pastor was talking, blah, 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 right? And he was just, he was just chilling, like, you know, whatever it was. And, uh, man, he just came out with this, like, string sound, man, which is nuts. Like, he just, you know, just ended on a chord and then brought in the strings and then started running. <laughs> and I, just, I was, yo, <laughs> you went crazy. It freaked me out. And, um, because <laughs> I forgot. You could do like there was a period of time man, I was so jaded with church. I was so jaded with with, with church music. I I wasn't really on it. You know, I was I made the transition from drums to keys. You know, and the, the my home church. You know, the pastor was really, 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 really rough. Like really, you know, like <laughs> she'll shut the whole service down and stop. Like if you, you ain't know, playing so, that organ right. <laughs> you know, and all she wanted to hear was the organ. Organ. Yeah. You know, so I was kind of you know you know Daryl was gone. Uh, who was the keyboard player at the time? He's not a pastor of the church, but uh, you know he was gone, and you know so all of that keyboard Joe Wilson kind of stuff went out the window. Mm -hmm. it, it went out the door with him. You had to sit on and, the organ, uh, right? And I could hardly play anyway, so <laughs> never mind me trying none of this stuff. And uh, you know it was just one of those things, man, where I was just so jaded, and I started hanging out with Lauren and went to the church. And I rem that that moment brought me back. Took you back to what I had heard when I was a kid, and I was like, "Oh no 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 no! I gotta get this." I get. And from back. that moment, that was about uh, that was about six seven years ago. And from mm. that day on, I was like, I've been chasing it, and I would just buy modules, you know, that didn't work on eBay. I take them apart, try to fix them, you know, change the battery, just digging, just digging, doing my homework, mm. trying to figure out. You know how I can make myself sound, you know, like a record. Another thing we I used to play with Lauren, um, you know, on these open mics and stuff like that. He would really make us stick to the script of the song. He like, nah, that ain't that ain't the sound. Nah, you gotta find that sound. Like that ain't, that ain't it. Nah, find it. You know that ain't the line. Play it. Stay the way true it is. to the music. You know what I'm saying? And so what that did for me was gave me a discipline to really, really, really dig, get the sound, even if it was if even if I didn't have the keyboard that the guy used, Make get a sound very, very similar. Cause these people wanted to hear their record. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And so um, you know, I just took that school of thought to the other church I went to. And um, you know, like I said, it was artists coming through there and I just wanted to make sure I had, you know, the sounds of their record. And I just mm -hmm. went digging. <laughs> you know, doing what I had to do, man. And so, um, you know, that's basically it, man. I, you know, we'll get into more detail where, you know, you'll actually see me, you know, see the screen. Um, but this is just a little jump start, head start into what's going on. Now, as far as your laptop, as far as your um, Ableton setup, is there anything? Oh, yeah, that was a question a gentleman had was about the transposing. How do you get things in every key? And I think you were telling me about a record function. Right. Well, what I do is um, let's go to a uh, new thing real quick. Um, so what I do is uh, real quick. Because I think was his thing was, okay, how do I have my shouts in every key? Because I don't know where, what key a shout may break out in. Right. What you're going to do is, well, it's very rare. If, if you're rumbling or warming it up, you're not going to shout in another key. Like, you're not, if you're in F, you're not going to be like, you know, you're not going to just all of a sudden be like, like, you're not going to just go to a random key. You're going to yeah. stay in the key. So, um, what I did was I got my bass line here, right? And um, let's go. All you got to do is, like we did the last video, play it, then you record it. La Ableton has a very simple function. On the input, you can go to any channel that's in the Ableton scene already or mm -hmm. in, the, in the Ableton set. So let's say I want to record the, the MIDI that I recorded on the track 11 mm -hmm. on track 10 i'll just go to the midi input and go to my input will be track 11 and it will record whatever i played on track 11 so that mm -hmm. makes it very easy once you do that you can create a folder over here i just do a folder name the folder like whatever the name is and then i do all 12 keys in that folder and i name the key so i got g I got A, and it's in alphabetical order. So I got A, A flat, B, B flat, C sharp, C, mm -hmm. D, E, E flat, F sharp, F, G. So all the okay. 12 keys. All right. So let's say we're in F, right? Right? And I know they're getting ready to shout. It's about that time. 
right? I got a little shout thing here. I'm going to grab it, drag it over, right? Now, you got to be quick with it, though. You know what I'm saying? Because, <laughs> you know, uh, it will pass you by. And I guess that's where those whole sustained strings come along. Right. Because you could sit on one of those, keep sound going while you're with right. your other hand drum- setting up your sound. And the drummer's, and the drummer's, drummer's doing this thing. Warming yeah. up and doing whatever. And then we just start it. You know what I'm saying? Right? You know, whatever. And then I can go wherever I want to go. Whatever I want to do. Mm-hmm. Whatever I want to do, you know. Uh, let's say, um, okay, you want to change keys, right? All you got to do is just go... Click it. Mm. You know, <laughs> um, and that's 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 kind of like the sloppy way. What I would do is let's undo that. What I would do is if I know if I know I'm I'm we'd be bucking mm. right. 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 Uh, let me see. Let's go back. Okay. So we know I'm. I know we're getting busy. Right. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the next key. Right. While I'm playing. Get some sort of transition in there. You know, whatever I want to play, you know. So, I mean, there's so many different ways that you can do it. Now, us us personally here at this church, we don't really change keys like that. (laughs) That's not something I have to worry about too tough. Mm. But I am prepared for it, you know. Um, And again, like, you know, there's so many different things. So let's say we're going back to being F, right? So, we're getting going. And I got all these things. I don't know if you can see, but I got all these different little functions, all these little things going on. So let's say I want to, um, let's say I want a, a different drum break that's not there, right? So I'm going to go, I got a folder for shout. I right, go to my shout folder, drums, and my shout folder, the drums that I would use for shouts. Because you have different sound sets. <laughs> Sounds like you guys hit this stick on the rim. And it's just endless. You know what I'm saying? I, that's 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 just one. You know, once we really start getting going, man, you know, you go break it down. You know, and out. You know, music is out. Mm-hmm. Come back in. That's your APC you're using down there that they can't see. You it's know? down on the chair on the yeah. side. Yeah. You know, so I mean. But you got to do every key. 
Got to do every key, store it in a folder. Well, we're going to cover that when we do the the pack for people to load in. Right. So they'll have a wealth of stuff they can, and then they can build from there, but to give them a good foundation. All right. I mean, it's. I, I mean, you look at my folders is, is is crazy. Like I got I got so many different things going on. You know, um, it's just one of the, it's just one of those things where whatever I think about, you know. So okay, real quick, I'll go back to this shout here, right? And it just keeps growing. <laughs> no sound. It's just a piano. Let's go. That's the red alert shout. You know, all day long. All you know, day and it long. just keeps building. You hear, it's just me. Imagine yeah. if you got a drummer going on. You know what I'm saying? Mm. If you get a guitar player, you could take the guitar player, the guitar loop off. You get a bass player. You know, which we have. You could take the bass mm -hmm. out. You know, it's, it's so many things you could do. You yeah. know, just treat it as if, like, what do I want to hear? Like, I'm getting ready to do this play, um, Thursday and Friday, or Friday. And, uh, I'm sorry, Saturday and Sunday, and um, I'm have organ. Because they didn't have the budget. They wanted organ, but they didn't have the budget to play a five-piece band. So it's just so me. You, so you put organ in there. <laughs> and I'll run it through my Apollo and separate out to the sound man as if he was mic and organ. Wow. And I'll just do it like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, And I can get in and out of sections of the songs as if. Yeah. So you just Endless. think, like, what would I want to yeah. hear? What, what If I'm a keyboard cat or a band director, what do I need? Mm -hmm. You know, what What do I need? What do I want to hear? You know, if it's just auxiliaries, then cool. Just program auxiliaries. You know, I have that too. It's just I got little things going on. If I, mm -hmm. you know, and what I do is I just program little fillers for shouts and it actually fills up all the space. And then I, I have to work less. That's yeah. The, <laughs> <laughs> like the old days. It was nah, 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 we're not doing that no more. Nah. <laughs> you sweating out nah, 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 nah. <laughs> We're not doing that. You want more? You want more energy? I got you. Let me just go get my folder and put on the red alert. I got that. I got that. You know what I'm saying? So I remember know. the first time I heard Quan do that in a shout mm -hmm. in a church. I was like, is there a fire alarm going off? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just um, one of those things, man. You just get creative, man. You figure out things that you want to hear, things that you've never heard before. You imagine, you know, it's your imagination, your creativity, you know, whatever you feel like you want to do, man. All so, right. You know, Great. I hope that helped. All right. So let's close out with a song. Now, you always did shouts. Now, we want to see you play along with Ableton and um, just play a song. Um. All right. Uh, we do. Uh, I don't know. Um. We do like the best is yet to come for offering. We do, um, we do no one else. Well, yeah, do um, no one else. Um, we, um, I just want them to kind of hear how you play along with that in a song versus a shout. All right. Um, what happens is, um, again, fooling around with, you know, guys like Lauren and all them cats, you know, and I used to work with this producer named Bink Dog, Dope Cat. And uh, really taught me how to sample, so I can grab elements of the song and have it, you know, in my loop. So what I did was I took the intro to the song. Ah. So you know, you know. So once they hear it, they know that song. You know what I'm saying? Glory. 
All right, we all know the song. You see, I'm not, I don't have to do nothing. I'm just explain your part. You know, nice. So, <laughs> now I noticed is. as you were going through, you was hitting buttons down there. What were you changing over? Uh, I changed like from the parts. Yeah, I changed from the little like um, you know, I guess the mellow sound. Oh, bright. So when we get to the drive. You know, when we get going, you know, you start really making it scream. Yeah, yeah, bite know. more. So, that's what it is. That's another Great. dope. All right. Another dope sound from Atmosphere. It's the Eric again. <laughs> from Worship. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't play like that. I'd play more. Anyway. <laughs> all right. That's what it is. Great. As we say all the time, if you really want to play, don't play around. Don't play around. All right, folks. See you next time.